Well, this doesn't look too complex. So I guess we should, I don't know, take it apart. G'day everybody, welcome back. Uh, today, Solex 26MH, which is literally cleaning itself while we work. Um, you saw in the other video a couple of days ago, I started taking the fuel filter bowl apart. It's cleaned up really well. Um, the glass is 90%. There's no filter on the inside. So I've ordered a whole new glass bowl, a filter and a seal, 30 bucks Australian. Uh, so that should be here this week. Uh, my goal today was to put the fuel system together. However, I've got some other stuff that's come up. So I thought we'd just uh, start taking this apart at the kitchen table while the wife's at work and we'll see how we go. But we're already getting wasp nests fall out of the carby so I'll spin the camera around I'll put it so we can see and yeah I'm not aiming to take this apart because I can't get the bowl seal and I can't get there's another seal uh, in here and there's the jet I can get the jets I can't get the seals easily in Australia but I can get them from overseas so anyway enough talking let's do this right on so to get it off the tractor, I had to cut the choke cable. That's not a biggie. Um, the choke cable itself, the actual housing appears to be stuck in there. Um, this is the normal way with most things. A little bit of brute force should get it out. So that's just a standard wire, uh, wire encased choke cable. Um, put another little bit in here. That eventually comes out. So um, fuel line wise, had to buy some new fuel line, obviously. And this one here. Definitely perished. And yes, I am doing this at the kitchen table while there's no one else home because it's quiet and it's quite warm outside. So I've got new clamps. Um, generally, I try and recycle these, but these are, well, this particular one is very, very average. So I won't reuse that. Um, this fuel fitting, this is quite a long fuel fitting. Uh, it goes to about, um, I'll try and get the screwdriver in. The actual fitting goes to about here. So I think I'm gonna have, to, oh sorry, it goes to about there. So I think I'm gonna have to cut this one off um, because it's certainly not going to spin in a million years. So we'll put that in the... I don't want to lose that little washer. So we're going to... Oh, that little washer's no good. Just going to put that on there for now, so I know where it is. What else have we got? Um, throttle linkage. Works pretty good, pretty happy with that. Um, choke, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. We'll see if we can change the light. Might just be able to see it. That's where the wasp mess fell out. Um, so, in terms of taking this apart, just 
trying to work out where the best I really need to see in here so take these two here off. I may regret this. I may not. It is a 26 mil carby. I can probably get another one of some brand, but I cannot get parts for a 26 NH for a Fiat 411RB. So far so good. Oh yeah, this is good. Take these bolts out, make sure I don't lose the washers. So there's a wasp nest. So I've got another, this is the choke here. <laughs> don't know if you're gonna be able to see down in here. I've got a wasp nest in here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this backwards. A wasp nest all the way down in here and in here, so. Uh, it's not the greatest. So I suspect there's probably something important. Like a jet. out in one bit. That's better. So I've got some carby cleaner uh, and what I'm thinking I might do is actually like I did with the fuel bowl just soak this in some petrol for a little while because uh That'll help get all this off. And I've got to try and get this jet here unblocked. Anyway, I'll come back to that in a little while. I've got another job to do. Okay, so here's what we found. The fuel bowl was pretty clean. Um, pretty happy with that. See in there, clean as. Oh yeah, camera's this way. Uh, the seal, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to use it, um, but we'll have to see. I think I can get a seal. What I'm unsure of is this piece, which sits behind this piece here, which clearly does something, but I'm not sure what. So. I'm going to put that back together very carefully and put that back on. Um, I want to protect that because I believe it's probably going to be the hardest bit to replace. So, uh, other than that, pretty happy. It's a very simple carby. Uh, like I said, throttle at one end, choke in the middle without the wasp nest. I am going to, uh, like I said, put this end cap back on. I'll pull this. Sorry, I'll keep flipping this over. I've got the needle. Uh, you can, I don't know if you can see that. It's very difficult. 
The floats look pretty good. This valve here goes up and down, sounds good. So I'm gonna pull these two out, make sure they're clean. I've got some carby cleaner at the front. Um, and I'm gonna get, uh, spin it around, get this one out. But first I need to put that end back on. It might seem a bit silly trying to protect that bit, but it's probably the one piece that I'm worried about. But before I can do that, I should take that one looks pretty good. So we can go back in. see light through that one. That can go back in. Sorry, hand in the way. Blocking the action. Uh, so I'm going to put this bottom piece back on at this point. Only goes on one way and it sits in place with a single bracket and then a spring washer. Sorry, I'll bring it back this way. And a big clampy looking bolt. And at this stage, I'm probably not going to take that apart again. Yeah, when I put it on the tractor and I fill it up with fuel, it's probably going to leak like a sieve. But at least I know it's there. Uh, so next, I really, really, really want to protect this. I don't think it's very healthy, but I'm not going to risk damaging it any further. Uh, feels like there's thread. Just maybe see that there's thread on this bolt, which is even scarier. But we'll put it back in gently. Whoop. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. There's not actually any holes in it, but that's the bottom. What I can see though now is this. So let's go outside, give this a clean and try and get this jet out. Excuse the air conditioner noise. Yuck. Okay, let's see. doing this with one hand. Try and get this 
ratchet out here. Might not have the right screwdriver. Oh. Oh, it's coming out the bottom. That's good. Righto, so I might let that dry for a couple of minutes. I'm going to start the air compressor. Give it a bit of what for. And uh, give it one last clean out. That might be time to put it back on the track. Missed a bit. Sorry about that, you missed that bit. Here's the new fuel line. Here's the fuel bowl I cleaned up. Uh, as you can see, the lacquer, I did some research, definitely lacquer in the bottom. Cleaned up pretty good. Uh, I'll give that another clean. But uh, yeah, I'll let that dry and then we'll put it all back together and start putting it back on the tractor. All right, so. Going back in, um, I don't have a replacement. I'm gonna see if I can get one. I don't know where from, but I'll have a go. So this bolt isn't standard. Clearly the thread's pulled out like the other one looks like it might be starting to do. So I'll um, have to see if I can get a new diaphragm. Apologies if that's not what it's called, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But I'm suspecting, oh yes, yeah, screw... I've literally screwed my finger into the bolt. Alright, that's that bit on. I got Carby cleaner through the jet. I don't have a seal for this top piece, which I suspect might be a problem. Again, parts are hard to get. Um, might send a video off to the guy I talked to on line who does old carbies. Um, I'll put his name and his link down the bottom. Good fella, good response rate. 
he'll probably cringe when he sees my carby video and my carby. All right, so that's actually ready to go back on the tractor. I've got the fuel line bolt here. I have to replace the fiber washers that go in this. Uh, good part, everything moves now. It was all stuck before. You're not gonna be able to see down there, but the choke is moving very well. Uh, very happy with that outcome actually. Got the old clamp off, got the old wire out, throw them in the bin. Uh, and did it all before the wife got home from work. So happy days. I do have to cut that off. So anyway, thanks for watching. It's not the uh, most exciting video in the world, but this is a Solex 26 NH carburetor, which you find on Fiat 411RBs. Air there, fuel there, in there. Uh, so let's go put it back on. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Right, so. Have nuts, have washer. Assuming there's no dead mice down the throat. she goes will it leak yes can I fix it don't know will it be easy don't know I'm worried about it no is it part of the fun yes Have I got a span of the right size? No. Can I find one? Yes. Can I get this nut on? No. There we go. All right, I'll go find a span of the right size and I'll be back. I'm not expecting to take this carby off again in the short term. If I can get parts, maybe. But unless I can get parts, there's no need to take it apart. Uh, take it apart. Take it off the tractor again. So the throttle, the throttle choke goes here. Let's see if we can find one of them. Choke mechanism, yeah, yeah. Everything's all nipped up. Come around the other side. We'll see. I oh, am. Yeah, we should be able to see the other side. Just make sure we can see over here. No. Well, so the fuel bowl. It's here. Like so. I don't know if you can see that very well. Fuel bowl's back in place. These are reasonably clean. Glass goes here. Oh, we should have a look at the glass. Let's see what we can find. Bit of a mess here today. First afternoon off. Right, so fuel bowl. Put it in the 
camera you can see it. So most of the brown scum just come off. The rubber seal has all come off, which is good. Maybe almost all come off, which is good. So compared to what it was before, it's pretty okay. So we go this here. Alright, so it's good enough for what we want to do today, which is put it in here. Oh, ha, ha. Oh. well, gosh and darn, this is what happens when you try and do things one handed for the camera. There's another one coming. We're we'll back in a sec while I clean up my own mess. Right, well, the old one was broken. I just proved it. So, fuel lines. Uh, there's a number of fuel lines that I have to work out. This comes up into the tank, and I'm not sure what this does. I have to work that out. Whether that's a fuel line holder, which I think it is, or whether it's for something else. I don't know the answer. Fuel line comes off the tank, off the back of the fuel bowl, down to the pump here. No, that doesn't feel right. So I've got an arrow on here that says the fuel comes this way. I'm going to go with the fuel comes out of the tank through this, into the pump here, out of here, up into the fuel bowl, through the filter, and out this line, and into the carby using that to support it. Don't know. Going to have a think and look at the book. Back soon. In case you're wondering, no, it doesn't smell good. But Cannot get it to loosen off this pipe. I can't get it to spin. twisty twisty in it I'm gonna to have to come up with a different method to get it off and I don't really want to cut it because I'll put a fine line in it then it'll leak so that's enough for today um, I'm running out of puff it is Friday afternoon so we'll uh, come back and we'll plumb this up probably tomorrow see you thanks for watching Just come off of the use. Come back. Oop, here we go. Yay! Well, that was harder than it ever should have been.